So this is the Golden Pass line, and we're taking this up through the mountains to go to Chateau de. It's beautiful in here. The classic train is one of a kind, and it made the journey through the countryside that much more magical. This alpine area of Lake Geneva is a must to see the postcard-worthy villages, the rural farms, and the jaw-dropping landscapes. However, I also recommend Laveau if you like wine, especially wine with a great view. Driving through these tiny little villages in Laveau, I mean, the roads are narrow, but these villages are so beautiful. And there's so much action because it's the harvest, so there's grapes everywhere, there's traffic jams. It's so fun. We're at a very local vineyard right here in Apes. This land has had vineyards since the 12th century. And we're trying Chasala, which is the most famous grape in this region. And it goes great on a summer day like this. The terrace vineyards of the Laveau region are actually a UNESCO site. And touring through the small, family-operated vineyards made me savor every sip and every view. We're in the charming, very historic village of saint Seferin, and it's tiny, but they have a very famous restaurant, L'Auberge de Londe, and I'm gonna go get some lunch. Locals rave about this hidden gem of a restaurant. Jerome Akebeda is the resident sommelier, and he knows a lot about wine, especially the Swiss grape famous in the area, Chasselas. Look at this bottle, it's made by my neighbor. It's a, it's a young... Made by your neighbor. Yeah, they are just harvesting right now. It's a wine I'm, I'm, I blend with them because I want to be sure that the wine which comes in the restaurant must be good for my guests. Yeah. So this is outstanding. It's a chasla. We had a great chat in the brasserie and regulars were coming in to enjoy the house specialties as well as some seasonal additions. The lake has some incredible fish and I could not get enough. The area has no shortage of three, four, and five star plus hotels, but the Grand Hotel du Lac couldn't have been any better. Right on the banks of the lake, this opulent Old World hotel was so elegant. Just sipping a drink in their oriental lounge made me feel like I was in Arabian Nights. My room was just as lavish. A deluxe suite with a spacious living area, gorgeous bathroom, and my own terrace that looked out over the lake. I surely felt like royalty. Lausanne is also home to world-renowned hotels, like the Royal Savoy, luxury in a totally opposite way. Let's go. And in here is the bed. Beautiful bedroom. Look at this. Lovely linens, I love the colors. Even though this is a historic building, it's very modern inside. Wow. Great view. You can see the garden, the lakes, and they have two terraces. For the ultimate luxury, you can rent out the private suite here at the spa and have your treatments right here. And then you can use your private sauna, private steam room, and your own hot tub. A sophisticated boutique hotel, the Royal Savoy has a unique ambiance that felt a little bit classic grandeur and a little bit James Bond, especially in their lounge bar. Dinner at the Brasserie du Royale was a gastronomic experience. Chef Marc Eberlin and his three Michelin stars did not disappoint. There were astonishing flavors and presentations along with elevated versions of traditional specialties, like pâté vaudois with sausage. To make the simple sublime is a true art. 